of a gag reflex. Oh. <gasps> Naomi's looking at me. So? So? She's cute. I think she's cute. You think she's cute, right? What's the matter? You like her, right? <laughs> yeah. So talk to her. You know her. It's not rocket science. I wish it was. Rockets are easy. Oops, Whoa! Sorry. Yeah. Um, Naomi, uh, that's a, um, <clears throat> uh, that's a very appropriate sweater outfit. Outfit. Outfit you're wearing today. <laughs> Thanks. I was thinking, I had fun when we went out to that movie before. I don't know if you'd be interested. <laughs> Maybe we could do something again some time. Ah! Ew, the food! Uh. cafeteria food and make it even more disgusting than usual. There's something funny going on. Abby! What do you think of my latest project? <sighs> You're running a compost drive? Yeah, huh? Apparently if you put a lot of gross stuff in a big pile, it turns into dirt for growing things. Or something like that. It's so popular these days. Plus, whoever makes the most wins a prize. What kind of prize? Duh. Like, it matters. So, Abby, I need volunteers to pick up this gross stuff. I figured you'd be perfect. You're so the hands-on garbage girl type. Oh, mm, it's really tempting, Paige. <gasps> no. Ooh, a new boy. And he's got needy written all over him. <laughs> hey, kid, how'd you like to save the planet? And help me. Me? Uh, um, sure. Uh, okay. Terrific! Go pick up all the banana peels, apple cores, all the gross stuff you can find. You'll report to me. I'm in charge of the... Ew! See what happens when you try to be <gasps> nice? <gasps> <gasps> Sorry about her. It's okay. Um, I'm used to it. I haven't seen you around. Are you new? I just transferred. Name's Chester. I'm Ty. Hmm. Um, and she's my sister, Abby. So, how do you like ringworm so far? It's like my old school. I guess nobody likes a science nerd here either. <laughs> I do. Yeah, you're looking at the two biggest science freaks in town. Hey, speak for yourself, freak. <laughs> <laughs> wow, great garden. Cool. It's a marigold. It secretes chemicals that repel harmful insects. Its own self-defense system. Did you guys know that? Well, we did. But we didn't think there were any other kids who cared. <laughs> so, you into plant science? Yeah. Chemistry, biology, all that good stuff. Kind of the whole circle of life thing. I was turning cool. Left, and then I was turning right. <laughs> <laughs> now there's a fact of life I can live without. A flock of jocks. Um, let's go the other way. No way. We have nothing to fear but fear itself. It's not fear I'm worried about. It's muscles. <laughs> huh? <gasps> oh, whoa, dude! Ever heard of a shower? I don't smell as bad as you after running 50 laps. <laughs> smell this. Ha ha ha! 
take it personally, Chester. Yeah, those guys aren't the most evolved species. <gasps> Gross! Ugh. Ugh, that's disgusting. It smells so bad. Gross! <laughs> 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 Amazing. Yeah, I'll never live that one down. <laughs> Not him. That. Oh, uh, sorry, Chester, but uh, Abby and I have to um wash our petri dishes. I was thinking hair. Right. That would have been better. Um, we gotta go. See you later, okay? Uh, sure. See you later. Yeah, it was a rotten day at Ringworm. Don't make jokes! That man is so demanding, so annoying! You have no idea. No, sir. No idea. What will I tell him? What's going on? Not really sure yet, but I started researching rot, also known as decomposition. Bacteria cause it. They're tiny, and they're hungry. They don't have any teeth or mouths, but they still gotta eat. They pump out enzymes that break stuff down. Make it digestible. You mean they eat that slop? The process normally takes a while, though. This rot was fast. Maybe somebody found a way to supercharge the bacterial enzymes? Let's get some more rot samples. Maybe it'll help us figure out what we're dealing with. Maybe? You'll have to do better than that. It's up to you to stop that rot. <laughs> Before it rots me! Dodgeball! <laughs> You're supposed to dodge, kid. Nice gym outfit, eh, guys? <laughs> Ooh, ah. <clears throat> Page of flinch. <laughs> Can't talk or play dodgeball, huh? Am I right? Huh, guys? Am I right? <laughs> you know what? You stink, kid. And I don't just mean a dodgeball. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> yeah. Not again. What, what did you do to me? What did you do to me? Oh, it wasn't me. Oh, gross. Oh, gross. God, please. Get it off. Get this thing off of me, please. Oh. <laughs> Sounded like Paige. Okay. Another rod outbreak. <laughs> Chester! Hey, where are you going? Chester, what happened? Nothing! Nothing? There's a trail of rot and it leads straight to you! Ty, what are you saying? He was there when the lawn rotted too. Do you have something to do with this? <sighs> Chester? All right! Yes, it was me! I did it! I rotted everything! Please! I don't know what to do! You gotta help me before I rot again! I want to help you, Chester. What's up with all this rotting? It's not my fault. Are you saying you didn't do it? Yes. I mean, no. I mean, when I get upset, it just sort of happens. Right. The decomposition of that jock's jersey was fast. It's cotton, an organic fiber. Funny, your clothes seem fine. Hmm, it's polyester, a synthetic <sighs> fabric. This can't rot. What a surprise. <sighs> I'm just following the clues, Abby, and they all point to him. Chester, what's going on? I've always wanted friends more than anything. I thought maybe if I could do something cool, then kids would like me. I was doing a project on plant growth, and I had an idea. What if I could stop things from rotting? Interesting choice. Ty! 
right? I'm just saying, if he wanted to be popular, he should have made Brussels sprouts taste like chocolate or something. But think of it. If things didn't rot, then food would never spoil. Hunger would be gone. I'd be famous. A hero. <sighs> but something went wrong. My experiment backfired. Ah! And instead of a hero, I turned into a monster. Instead of preservation, I got putrescence. This rotting touch. Don't worry, Chester. We won't tell anyone. Abby! I'll just leave before I rot anything else. We can't just let him go. What can we... Hmm. I know. Oh, no. You want to take him to the gag lab? Whoa, that's totally against the rules. If we help him, we'd be stopping the rot, just like the director wants. Abby, it's wrong, and you know it. You want to tell Chester we won't help him because of our rules? <sighs> no, I guess not. Yes. Chester, wait! I might have a way to help you. Careful. Okay, stop. Chester, this is our friend, Lab Rat. Hi, Lab Rat. <laughs> I'm Lab Rat. He's Hermes. What is this place? Looks like that. What were you this thinking? Thing? It's her idea. You sure we can trust this dude? You want to argue with her? Be my her. guest. <laughs> All right. Let's just get going and get him out of here before the director finds out. This is a bioanalyzer. It's hooked up to a supercomputer. It should give us clues to how your rotting touch works. It won't hurt, I promise. All right, let's fire this puppy up. some kind of organism living inside him. A parasite. And it's moving through his nervous system. Toward his brain. Wow. Enough. Stand back and let me work. Whoa. Looks like the computer's done it. We might have figured it out, Chester. With this data, we might be able to cure you. You could be normal. Hmm? Uh, normal? You could be plain old Chester again in no time. You never said anything about that. What? You said you were going to do research so I could control it. I, I don't want to be plain old Chester. What? My, my rotting touch, it protects us. I, I, I wanted you to help me understand it, control it, not take us away. Hey, don't make us rot, you two. I knew it. That rotting was no accident. You did it on purpose. No, no, it wasn't me. Stay back, please. It's taking over. Then let us help. Ha! Give up, Chester. You don't know who you're messing with. Please, Chester. That's it. Hands up. Uh, uh, down. Oh, whatever. D don't move. Whoa. Uh -oh. <gasps> Whoa. Goop is not a toy. Ah! Sorry. Put it down, Chester. Please. Let us stop the rot! We can't let you cure us. We? Oh, perfect. No, there's years of research on those hard drives. Our secret is in there. <laughs> How can you do this, Chester? Chester's gone, Abby. Soon, people will know the awesome power of Kid Rock! <laughs> got any other friends you want to bring by? We've got bigger problems! We've got to get away from this rot wave. 
It's eating everything. Relax, it's not eating everything, Abby. It can only affect organic things. The lab is mostly metal and glass. Um, Ty, I don't know about you, but I'm organic. Oh, yeah. Ah, my samples. Samples? That could be us. We've got to think of a way to buy some time until this stuff burns itself out. Bingo. Everybody jump. Are you crazy? Of course he is, but unless you have any bright ideas, I say, listen to the man. All right. Jump. Okay. One, two, three. Ow! One non-organic lifeboat, no waiting. Just climb and watch the head. <sighs> now what? <sighs> What are you doing here? Oh, getting you out of this <laughs> icky mess! <laughs> this is why I never leave my office! Uh... You brought a civilian into the lab? Uh, well, sir, actually, it's, it's a long story. Which I do not have time for. You have no idea what's going on out there. Look! Oh, oh, no. oh. Everyone is fleeing. It's a rotten catastrophe. The police? Special agents? It's too gross! They're all powerless! <gasps> Chester, no. That is your culprit. Wherever he goes, the rot follows. It's all over the city. He's headed toward your school, and it's up to you to stop it. But how? That is not my problem. <laughs> What a mess. It's gonna take time pulling the lab back together. What's that? My sample. It survived. I'll say. It's huge. It's like it did a year's worth of growing overnight. Wait a minute. That's it. Compost. The circle of life. Chester's rot must be packed with super concentrated nutrients. Jumping Jack in the Beanstalk. If we can find him, I think I can stop him. Scrape this stuff up and load the goop shooter. We're headed for the school. It's time to fight rot with rot. This is the same grass that Chester rotted. It's grown back. Yeah, with a vengeance. Chester! What are you doing? He's not evil, Ty. It's the rot talking. Underneath, he's just a kid, like us. Like you, maybe. Not like me. Hey, Kid Rot! Stay away! Jester! Come out! I, I said go away! Don't make us rot you! You won't rot your friends! <laughs> ah, hello, friend! It's over. We can't let you go around rotting anymore. Chester, the rot is a parasite, a separate life form. I know you're still in there. We can get you back. No! Why not stick around and rot a while? <laughs> Abby, get it through your head. He's dangerous. <sighs> is taking over. Come on! <laughs> Chester! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> We're gonna lose them. Oh, no, we won't. Time to rot and roll. <laughs> Bullseye! Bullseye? You missed. <laughs> No! You think these pathetic flowers will stop Kid Rot? Chester. Chester, don't do it. Listen to me. Your plan, it worked. Your rotting touch doesn't have to destroy. Huh? Look! The rot you create is the best fertilizer ever! It makes everything grow. Flowers, fruits, veggies? I... I... I did it? I... I really did it. You're a hero after all. No! 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 He's no hero! Ah! No! Poor Chester! <gasps> <laughs> Poor Chester? Kid Rot's on the loose. I'd say... Poor us. My power is building. I can feel it. Get ready, world! Get ready to rock! And Abby? I think you will be impressed. <laughs> <laughs>